Uranium trioxide UO3, also called uranyl oxide, uranium v oxide, and uranic oxide, is the hexavalent oxide of uranium. The solid may be obtained by heating uranyl nitrate to 400 degrees Celsius. Its most commonly encountered polymorph, gamma UO3, is a yellow-orange powder. Production and use There are three methods to generate uranium trioxide. As noted below, two are used industrially in the reprocessing of nuclear fuel and uranium enrichment. U308 can be oxidized at 500 degrees Celsius with oxygen. Note that above 750 degrees Celsius even in 5 atmospheres O2 UO3 decomposes into U308. Uranyl nitrate, UO2 NO3 26H2O can be heated to yield UO3. This occurs during the reprocessing of nuclear fuel. Fuel rods are dissolved in HNO3 to separate uranyl nitrate from plutonium and the fission products the Purex method. The pure uranyl nitrate is converted to solid UO3 by heating at 400 degrees Celsius. After reduction with hydrogen with other inert gas present to uranium dioxide, the uranium can be used in new MOX fuel rods. Ammonium diuranate or sodium diuranate may be decomposed. Sodium diuranate, also known as yellowcake, is converted to uranium trioxide in the enrichment of uranium. Uranium dioxide and uranium tetrafluoride are intermediates in the process which ends in uranium hexafluoride. Uranium trioxide is shipped between processing facilities in the form of a gel, most often from mines to conversion plants. When used for conversion, all uranium oxides are often called reprocessed uranium Ripu, Cameco Corporation, which operates at the world's largest uranium refinery at Blind River, Ontario, produces high-purity uranium trioxide. It has been reported that the corrosion of uranium in a silica-rich aqueous solution forms uranium dioxide, uranium trioxide, and coffinate. In pure water, shopite 8 d oxygen dodecahydroxide 12 H2O is formed in the first week and then after four months stutite UO2 O2 H2O was produced. This alteration of uranium oxide also leads to the formation of metastutite, a more stable uranyl peroxide, often found in the surface of spent nuclear fuel exposed to water. Reports on the corrosion of uranium metal have been published by the Royal Society. Health and safety hazards Like all hexavalent uranium compounds, UO3 is hazardous by inhalation, ingestion, and through skin contact. It is a poisonous, slightly radioactive substance, which may cause shortness of breath, coughing, acute arterial lesions, and changes in the chromosomes of white blood cells and gonads leading to congenital malformations if inhaled. However, once ingested, uranium is mainly toxic for the kidneys and may severely affect their function. Structure Solid state structure The only well-characterized binary trioxide of any actinide is UO3, of which several polymorphs are known. Solid UO3 loses O2 on heating to give green colored U3O8. Reports of the decomposition temperature in air vary from 200 to 650 degrees Celsius. Heating at 700 degrees Celsius under H2 gives dark brown uranium dioxide, UO2, which is used in MOX nuclear fuel rods. Alpha Beta Gamma Delta High pressure form There is a high pressure solid form with U2O2 and U3O3 rings in it. Hydrates Several hydrates of uranium trioxide are known, e.g., UO36H2O. Bond valence parameters it is possible by bond valence calculations to estimate how great a contribution a given oxygen atom is making to the assumed valence of uranium. Bond valence calculations use parameters which are estimated after examining a large number of crystal structures of uranium oxides and related uranium compounds. Note that the oxidation states which this method provides are only a guide which assists in the understanding of a crystal structure. 
The formula to use is S equals E minus R minus R O B display style s equals e caret frac r r underscore o b the sum of the s values is equal to the oxidation state of the metal center for uranium binding to oxygen the constants r o and b are tabulated in the table below for each oxidation state use the parameters from the table shown below it is possible to do these calculations on paper or software molecular forms While uranium trioxide is encountered as a polymeric solid under ambient conditions some work has been done on the molecular form in the gas phase in matrix isolation studies and computationally gas phase At elevated temperatures gaseous UO3 is in equilibrium with solid U308 and molecular oxygen 2 U3O8 S plus O2 G 6 UO3 G with increasing temperature the equilibrium is shifted to the right. This system has been studied at temperatures between 900 degrees Celsius and 2500 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of monomeric UO3 in equilibrium with air and solid U3O8 at ambient pressure, about 10 minus 5 millibars 1 millipascal at 980 degrees Celsius, rising to 0.1 millibars 10 pascals at 1,400 degrees Celsius, 0.34 millibars 34 pascals at 2,100 degrees Celsius, 1.9 millibars 193 pascals at 2,300 degrees Celsius, and 8.1 millibars 8 809 pascals at 2500 degrees celsius matrix isolation infrared spectroscopy of molecular uo3 isolated in an argon matrix indicates a t-shaped structure point group c2v for the molecule this is in contrast to the commonly encountered d3h molecular symmetry exhibited by most trioxides from the force constants the authors deduct the UO bond lengths to be between 1.76 and 1.790 176 to 179 pm. Computational study Calculations predict that the point group of molecular UO3 is C2V, with an axial bond length of 1.75 A, an equatorial bond length of 1.83 A and an angle of 161 degrees between the axial oxygens. The more symmetrical D3H species is a saddle point, 49 kJ per mole above the C2V minimum. The authors invoke a second-order Jan Teller effect as explanation. Cubic form of uranium trioxide The crystal structure of a uranium trioxide phase of composition UO282 has been determined by X-ray powder diffraction techniques using a guineer-type focusing camera. The unit cell is cubic with a 4138 plus or minus 0005 kx. A uranium atom is located at 000 and oxygens at view the mathemel source, view the mathemel source, and view the mathemel source with some anion vacancies. The compound is isostructural with Rayo3. The UO bond distance of 2073A agrees with that predicted by Zachariasen for a bond strength S. 1. Reactivity Uranium trioxide reacts at 400 degrees Celsius with Freon-12 to form chlorine, phosgene, carbon dioxide and uranium tetrafluoride. The Freon-12 can be replaced with Freon-11 which forms carbon tetrachloride instead of carbon dioxide. This is a case of a hard perhalogenated freon which is normally considered to be inert being converted chemically at a moderate temperature. 
2 Cf 2 Cl 2 plus UO 3 UF 4 plus CO 2 plus CO Cl 2 plus Cl 24 Cf Cl 3 plus UO 3 UF 4 plus 3 CO Cl 2 plus carbon tetrachloride plus Cl 2 Uranium trioxide can be dissolved in a mixture of tributyl phosphate and the noyl trifluoroacetone in supercritical carbon dioxide. Ultrasound was employed during the dissolution. Electrochemical modification the reversible insertion of magnesium cations into the lattice of uranium trioxide by cyclic voltometry using a graphite electrode modified with microscopic particles of the uranium oxide has been investigated. This experiment has also been done for U308. This is an example of electrochemistry of a solid modified electrode. The experiment which used for uranium trioxide is related to a carbon paste electrode experiment. It is also possible to reduce uranium trioxide with sodium metal to form sodium uranium oxides. It has been the case that it is possible to insert lithium into the uranium trioxide lattice by electrochemical means. This is similar to the way that some rechargeable lithium ion batteries work. In these rechargeable cells, one of the electrodes is a metal oxide which contains a metal such as cobalt, which can be reduced. To maintain the electroneutrality for each electron which is added to the electrode material, a lithium ion enters the lattice of this oxide electrode. Amphoterism and reactivity to form related uranium v anions and cations. Uranium oxide is amphoteric and reacts as acid and as a base, depending on the conditions. As an acid, UO3 plus H2O UO2 minus 4 plus 2H plus dissolving uranium oxide in a strong base like sodium hydroxide forms the doubly negatively charged uranate anion UO2 minus 4. Uranates tend to concatenate, forming diuranate, U2O2 minus 7, or other polyuranates. Important diuranates include ammonium diuranate NH4 2U2O7, sodium diuranate Na2U2O7, and magnesium diuranate MgU2O7, which forms part of some yellowcakes. It is worth noting that uranates of the form M2UO4 do not contain UO2-4 ions, but rather flattened UO6 octahedra, containing a uranyl group and bridging oxygens. As a base, UO3 plus H2O UO2 plus 2 plus 2 O minus dissolving uranium oxide in a strong acid like sulfuric or nitric acid forms the double positive charged uranyl cation. The uranyl nitrate formed UO2 NO3 H2O is soluble in ethers, alcohols, ketones and esters, for example, tributyl phosphate. This solubility is used to separate uranium from other elements in nuclear reprocessing, which begins with the dissolution of nuclear fuel rods in nitric acid. The uranyl nitrate is then converted to uranium trioxide by heating. From nitric acid one obtains uranyl nitrate, trans-UO2 NO3 H2O, consisting of eight coordinated uranium with two bidentate nitrato ligands and two water ligands as well as the familiar O equals U equals O core. Uranium oxides in ceramics UO3-based ceramics become green or black when fired in a reducing atmosphere and yellow to orange when fired with oxygen. Orange-colored fiestaware is a well-known example of a product with a uranium-based glaze. UO3 has also been used in formulations of enamel, uranium glass, and porcelain. Prior to 1960, UO3 was used as an agent of crystallization in crystalline colored glazes. It is possible to determine with a Geiger counter if a glaze or glass was made from UO3. References, <references>